Hi, and welcome to Project Renault's design series. So in this series, uh, I like to look at plans that I might come across that uh, I find interesting, or um, I like the elements of the design, and I'm just gonna show you what they are, and we can have a bit of a discussion about it, and you can give us your comments about what you think and what you like about them as well. So let's dive in and have a look. I found one today. Um, let's go and have a look at it. Okay, here it is. So what I like about this plan is just there's a couple of things about the way they've gone about doing the ensuite and walk-in robe and the kitchen uh, laundry and this sort of walk-in pantry um, type style that I want to talk about. So firstly, uh, as we find in a lot of houses uh, here in Adelaide, we find that obviously the bedrooms are at the front of the house, especially in these old cottages. Um, but here, here's an option for where, you know, you can take and put the master bedroom at the back of the house, which I really quite like because it takes the master bedroom away from the, the, the road. So it gives you a quieter um, bedroom for peaceful night's sleep, especially if you're on a busy arterial road. Um, but uh, the other thing that I really like about it is often we'll, we'll see houses that maybe have a chimney in, in an existing room or something. And this is a good way to, to be able to sort of do a different sort of ensuite walk and row um, set up. And so they've actually put the passage down on the outside wall and then you end up getting this, this walk-in robe sort of separated in two areas here. And you get an ensuite, um, which has got a really nice um, shower set up and double double vanity here. And we also have a, um, a toilet as well separated. And, and they've maximized the amount of space that they can use in this master bedroom by actually putting the doorway in this location. Of course, if you had a little bit more space, we push this down, you could actually put the doorway maybe here, but working it in a corner is never going to work that well. So I actually quite like this. Um, I quite like this setup. And also it allows us to finish off the house in a nice square sort of fashion. You can see there's like a main big roof going over this alfresco um, to, to uh, close it off. So this is actually a really good, well-designed element um, at the back here. Uh, and it'll work quite well. This ensuite would also get some natural light coming through from um, this window and that hallway. So, you know, it, it really works in, in just a number of ways. It works really well. Uh, the other part I really like about this plan is the way that they've done the kitchen. I especially love this idea that you can, all the utility elements are uh, kept within one. So you've got a nice island bench and a kitchen um, set up at the back, kitchen cupboards with perhaps overheads over the top. Uh, fridge uh, and freezer set up here and then either side you have like a doorway and you could probably make all of this element here in cabinetry style sort of doors so it actually looks like this one massive big kitchen and I'd probably extend the kitchen island bench perhaps over to this line here um, and you know when you walk through this particular door you end up in the laundry with a linen space here which is ideally positioned and you've got a sliding door that you can go outside to and on the other side, you've got this sort of dedicated walk-in pantry, um, which can come in really handy for a whole lot of things. You could store wine in there and a whole lot of things. So to me, this setup just works really well. It's super efficient, um, cost-effective, and uh, and just, I think, would work extremely well for a busy family and uh, just work well in general for, for any family who wants to live in, in a house where they, we, they'd like to see all those utilities into one. Okay, so that's my thoughts on this plan today. Please leave your comments down the bottom. We always welcome uh, your comments uh, in these series. And um, until next time.